Good afternoon, Utah. I hope that you're having a terrific Tuesday so far. Weather headlines include strong winds for today, and we're going to see more times of strong winds, not only through today, but also into tomorrow as well. Not going to be windy the whole time, but we will see times of strong winds. We're moving into an active pattern, mainly for northern Utah. Meanwhile, southern Utah is going to be on the dry side, and also we'll see a warming trend. But for northern Utah, we also do have some winter alerts, and we'll get to those right now, where we're talking about a winter weather advisory for our northern Utah mountain valleys and northern Utah mountains. This does include Cache Valley, and this continues through 5 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. And while the Wasatch Front is not included within this winter weather advisory, that doesn't mean there's not a chance for wet weather. It's just as we look towards the Wasatch Front, temperatures are going to be tricky here the next couple of days where we could find times of snow and also times of a wintry mix. Right now, we are seeing some times of of mi wintry mix when you get down towards the Salt Lake Valley and into the Utah Valley as well. Having just stepped outside, we're just seeing a few flurries around. Metro Salt Lake City, so that radar is kind of overdoing things a little bit, but where it's not overdoing things is definitely up towards Logan, where it has been steadily snowing, not only since the overnight, but th so far through this morning and into this early afternoon as well where that snow was falling down pretty quickly. So if you're traveling around Cache Valley this this afternoon or in some of our higher elevations, you just need to be extra careful out on the roadways. As I mentioned, though, down in southern Utah, it's a completely different story. St. George just got a good amount of cloud coverage, but that's a very pretty view of St. George looking towards the Red Rock. And temperature wise, you're going to be a little bit warmer today compared to what you saw yesterday. Meanwhile, in Salt Lake City, temperature sitting at 33 degrees right now, which means if we're able to find wet weather in Salt Lake City, it's mainly going to fall in the form of snow. If we're able to warm up a little bit more, though, we'll have the chance for rain and snow more or less through the afternoon into the evening. Things look to calm down just a little bit into tonight before they ramp back up heading into tomorrow. But in southern Utah, we'll be talking about a daytime high of 32 degrees in Price, 33 degrees in Moab. That warming trend is going to be a little bit more apparent in southwestern Utah with 43 degrees in Cedar City and 48 degrees in St. George. And that warming trend will continue over the next couple of days. As we time things out for you here on the future cast, you'll see that through this afternoon, we'll have the chance for wet weather in northern Utah mainly from the southern Wasatch Front and northward with the best chance of wet weather being snow up in the mountains. A little bit of a lull tonight, but as we move into the overnight hours tonight into tomorrow morning with another system on the way, the chance for wet weather will ramp up once again with the chance for dropping into the valleys once again. So as we move through our Wednesday and into Thursday morning, that's when the best chance for rain and snow is going to be with the best chance for accumulating snow up in the mountains. And when we talk about the snowfall forecast, the northern Wasatch Front through Thursday likely going to pick up two to six inches of snow. The southern Wasatch Front down to Nephi, one to four inches. The benches three to six. Northern Mountain Valley, six to 12. And our mountains could see 18 to 36. And keep in mind, in isolated locations, we could see totals that actually amount to higher than that. So again, be very careful of traveling in those higher elevations. As for St. George, we're looking at predominantly dry conditions over the next few days with the temperatures climbing from the upper 40s today into the upper 50s by the end of the week. And we'll also introduce a chance for some rain by the time we get into Saturday with those temperatures leveling off just a little bit. Meanwhile, on the Wasatch Front, we're going to have that chance for rain and snow for today with a daytime high in the upper 30s. We already hit 39 degrees once today. We'll see rain and snow for our Wednesday and into early Thursday, then a chance returns late Friday into Saturday. And by that time, temperatures will start to calm, will start to come back down as we'll be looking at middle to upper 30s with overnight lows in the lower to middle 20s Sunday into Monday.